Update 3, my dad's cult is tearing our family apart. I've been hanging out here for a few years, as some of my family members were early adopters of the quilt. It's been a wild ride. I'm now headed to the hospital because they're going to transfer my stepmother to hospice. She had a massive heart attack a couple of weeks ago and most of her heart tissue is dead. She isn't a candidate for a transplant because they don't have insurance, and I'd guess because they also didn't take the jab. Her and my father of course believed all of the standard issue cult lockdown being a hoax stuff, and they came down with something wicked a couple of months ago that had both of them struggling to breathe for about a month. Then massive heart attack. Never occurred to them that a virus isn't great for your heart. This is not only going to unalive my dad's wife of 35 years, but it'll also destroy them financially. He hasn't worked since Ron Watkins took over the cult, so he has no savings, he likely got scammed or grifted out of a lot of it, he was previously very successful, and no insurance. He told the billing woman at the hospital that he had a couple hundred grand in equity in his house he could use, and she said that wouldn't even come close. My guess based on the procedures they've done so far it's close to $700,000 in bills. I guess Trump's repeal and replacement of Obamacare didn't cut the mustard, dang. Turns out this whole Democrat hoax is a bit of a doozy. This will end up on aliving my dad too. He's a long-time smoker in terrible health, and these days he doesn't trust doctors, so we won't see the Grim Reaper coming until he does. Couple that with the train load of stress that is hitting him this month, and it will keep slamming into him as he has to bury his wife, lose his house, become further isolated, and more, and I would be surprised if he lasts more than a year. They have been really great to my kids though, but I'm about to try to tell my three-year-old son that. Grammy is dead. Maybe the sooner Grampy dies the better, so I don't have to break my daughter's heart if she is older. My dad took a break from sitting in the ICU with her last weekend so he could get some rest. He wanted to see his grandkids so we came over and I made him lunch. That was the most I've seen him eat in years. He's skinny. Frail. Old. Dying. Looks like his odometer spun 15 years in the last 5. Hate will do that to a person. I saw a book on his counter titled The Laptop from Hell. That's what he's consuming. The twilight of his life and instead of tending a garden, playing with his grandkids, golfing, or doing literally anything healthy or productive, he's watching his wife die and engorging himself on rage. What a way to go. I hate everyone involved in those cults. It's unaliving my family. I hope I get to meet Watkins one day so I can give him a piece of my effing mind.